So we're gonna pick up right where we left off in the last video. I was going through why we learn the G chord with our pinky on the third fret of the first string, right? And this allows us to move through the C and the F chord very easily. Uh, but today, we're going to move on to this version of the G. This is what I said we shouldn't use when we're starting out. But it's also very helpful, depends on what you're playing. So, today we're going to work out of this G shape and the D. Except we're not going to play this G, we're going to play this G. So I'm putting both fingers on the two bottom strings, third fret. You get this really nice full chord with another D added to the chord. Look at that change to the D. See how much easier it is to go from this to this instead of this to this. So this is a good reason why you learn both ways. Right? All three ways. You gotta know them. So today we'll just do a quick example. We'll be working out of G and D and we'll do a little Zeppelin riff. time so we're starting here on the G string we're hammering on pulling off right hammer on second fret G string pull off and then pull off of the fourth fret on your D string so to do this pull off we can't pull down like we did here. See, we're pulling down on the G string, but on the D string, we have to push up. And then strum that G. Second part is gonna come right out of the D chord, right? Or it's gonna lead into the D chord, I should say. So you have the same first part, but then the second part, we're going to move up to this D. So we're starting here on the third string, fourth fret, and we're pulling off to the second fret to open down to the fourth string on D. And that's where we can strum the D chord. We can strum this little piece of a D chord by taking your middle finger off. Yeah. And see my hand barely moves. Once again, play smarter, not harder. I'll see you on the next one.